There you go, we'll have to pause that and then read it. Rochamp Falls. Only one to two hours to get there and back. At least this time they've got return at two and a half k's. It's on a form track, obviously. Nice track. Um, and it's pretty crappy weather out there. <laughs> so I'm uh, dressed up in a um, high-vis raincoat. <laughs> anyway, we'll see what's down here. Try and get some photos net and do a video for you. Looks really, um, actually the camera is making it look a lot lighter than what it is. Should darken it down a bit. Not a bad little walk trail. A couple of screaming kids in front of me. So we won't be um, seeing any of the uh, native animals around because they're uh, well and truly scared off from those two. Hmm, a nice thing to land on the track. <laughs> Lots of ferns, it's getting darker and darker, but the camera's actually compensating for it, so it doesn't look as dark as it really is. Look at that through there, really spooky. Not even about, we're only about 200 meters down the track. Still got, what, one point something, two k's to go. Anyway, nice walk. Can you hear the rain dripping down? So they can drive down here as well. Very nice walk down to Beauchamp Falls. A little bit wet today though. It was raining most of the way when I was driving in here. But um, it should be worth it. Can't really see on the um, video. There is a bit of water running down the creek. And for the adventurous ones, there's a log you can walk over. It's been cut a few times and then squared off. Sort of made a fence out of it. I'm not that adventurous, so <laughs> a bit slippery too. At least it's a little bit flatter now. The only problem is I've got to walk back up the hill. Ugh. And duck under the ferns. <laughs> it's pretty nice in there. Don't know whether you can see it. Yeah. Something to freeze frame and read. Not sure whether you can turn that. Hang on. Yeah. Never mind, we'll keep walking. too far off the falls and I hope this isn't, isn't the creek it's on because there's not a lot of water flowing down there. Just trickling. Oops, wrong way. Good. 
know whether you can really see it. And it's raining again. Lovely. Right, at least we're under some ferns and that. It's a bit more uh, waterproof. Just get bigger drops. To zoom in on. I'll keep walking. Oh, looks like the old bridge. Hmm. Oh, look at that down there. Zigzags there, comes back up there. Look at going. Oh, steps, no more steps. Splashing down there, but I think this one might be a little bit close to the falls. Going back up again to a viewing point. Yeah, it's better off down the bottom, I think. Three phones in the way. Can't see what's going on on the screen because my <laughs> glasses are fogged up. Not a bad little fall. I'd go for a swim down there, but um, haven't got bathers on. area. Camping area. Could have camped here last night. Although it would have been uh, a little bit open. Alright. 
car. Uh, it's still raining. Definitely a good walk out over there. Two and a half k's return. Um, the track down is is perfect. It's a good track. At the bottom, there are um, steps with a handrail and then a viewing platform, and then you can actually get down onto the river itself. And then you got to walk all the way back up the hill. <laughs> Not bad. I don't know. I would have uh, if I'd camped here last night. I reckon I would have got wet. There's just a light breeze going through and the rain would have come straight under my little shelter. I would have had to put up a tent. But anyway, let's go back to Beach Forest. Uh, see if there's a shop there and um, get something to eat. And then down to Hopetown Falls. Hopefully this rain that's coming on us now will have cleared by the time I get down there. 